Hello students, welcome back to the virtual lab demonstration. This video demonstrates the analysis of solder alloy. This video is for MSc part 1 students. The link for the other experiment is provided at the end of this video and also in the description. To get the notification of next practical, please subscribe and like the video. I am Dr. Sujata Kasbe from Abba Sahib Garwari College, Pune. Let us see the demonstration of practical. Aim of the experiment is determination of tin and lead in solder theory. Solder is an alloy of approximately three parts of lead and two parts of tin. It usually contains one to three percent as an impurity. Tin and lead from solder alloy can be estimated gravimetrically. On oxidation with HNO3, SN converted to insoluble SNO2, while on addition of K2CRO4, lead is converted to insoluble PbCrO4. Required chemicals are concentrated HNO3, solid sodium acetate, 4% K2CRO4, etc. Apparatus Silica crucible, Gelda's flask, Funnel, Beaker, Burette and gooch crucible etc let us see the procedure for the experiment the first part is the dissolution of the alloy to dissolve the alloy weigh about 0.3 gram solder alloy and call this weight as w gram then transfer the alloy in gelda's plus to this add about 5 ml distilled water and then add 1 ml concentrated HNO3. Then heat the solution in a water bath for about 5 to 10 minutes. If the alloy does not dissolve, again add 5 ml distilled water and 1 ml concentrated HNO3 and repeat the procedure till the alloy gate dissolves. In this step, tin is first converted to insoluble metastatic acid and then to insoluble tin dioxide. Lead is converted to soluble lead nitrate. After this step, remove the burner and cool the flask well at room temperature then add to this solution 25 ml distilled water. Then again heat the solution in a water bath for about 10 minutes. Now filter the solution through Wattman number 42 filter paper. Collect the filtrate in a beaker. Insoluble SNO2 remains on the filter paper. The precipitate shows a tendency to adsorb metal ions like Pb2+, so it must be washed thoroughly. The precipitate is colloidal in nature and must be washed with an electrolyte like dilute HNO3 to avoid its peptidization. So wash this precipitate by using one part dilute HNO3 plus 100 parts of water. Give 3 to 4 such washings and keep the filtrate and washings for the determination of PB. Now we have obtained here two parts. Part A is for gravimetric estimation of SNO2 and part B is for gravimetric estimation of PB as PbCrO4. Now dry the residue of SNO2 in an oven at 120 degree centigrade or on a metallic cone on a low flame. Then take the weight of empty crucible plus lead and record this reading as W1 gram. So now for incineration process, take previously weighed crucible, fold the filter paper as shown in the video, hold it with the pair of tongue and heat it strongly by using blue flame. Transfer all this filter paper in a crucible and then heat this crucible strongly on a blue flame 
for about 2 to 3 hours then cool it properly and then take the weight of crucible plus lid plus residue and record this reading as a w2 gram now observation table for part a weight of the empty wash glass weight of the wash glass plus alloy and finally weight of alloy as a w gram then weight of the empty crucible plus lid as w1 gram weight of the crucible plus lid plus residue as w2 gram weight of sno2 as x gram now calculations sno2 corresponds to sn so 150.7 gram sno2 corresponds to 118.7 gram sn so x gram sno2 corresponds to 118.7 multiplied by x divided by 150.7 is equal to a gram sn so w gram alloy contains a grams sn therefore 100 gram alloy contains a into 100 divided by w equal to b percent sn next is the part b that is gravimetric estimation of lead as pb cro4 for that transfer the filtrate in 100 ml volumetric glass and then dilute it up to the mark by using distilled water now transfer this solution in a beaker to get the homogeneous solution fill this diluted solution in a burette now take 50 ml of this diluted solution in a beaker to this solution add 3 g of solid sodium acetate to replace hno3 by acetic acid at this stage a buffer solution of sodium acetate and acetic acid is formed at this ph only lead is precipitated as lead chromate on adding k2cro4 other cations even if present do not precipitate so heat the solution to boiling now to this hot solution add 15 ml 4% k2cro4 the supernatant solution will become orange yellow add little excess of k2cro4 if required to make the supernatant solution orange yellow now digest the ppt for about 15 minutes in a water bath Meanwhile take the weight of empty gauge crucible and record it in a observation table Now filter the ppt of pbcro4 through this previously weighed gauge crucible and then wash it with a 5 ml distilled water Give four such washings then dry the precipitate of pbcro4 in an oven at about 120 degree centigrade for 1 hour Weigh the gauge crucible and find the weight of PbCrO4. Repeat the operation of heating and cooling till constant weight is obtained. Observation table: Weight of the empty wash glass, weight of the wash glass plus alloy. Take the difference of these two. That will give you weight of the alloy as W gram. Next observation is weight of the empty crucible plus lid as W gram. weight of the crucible plus lead plus residue as w2 gram take the difference of these first two you will get the weight of pbcro4 residue as y gram calculations 50 ml diluted solution corresponds to y gram pbcro4 therefore 100 ml diluted solution corresponds to 2 into y gram pbcro4 So 323.2 g PbCrO4 corresponds to 207.2 g Pb therefore 2y g PbCrO4 corresponds to 207.2 into 2y divided by 323.2 that is c g Pb so w g alloy corresponds to c g of Pb therefore 100 g of alloy corresponds to C into 100 divided by W, that is Z percent of Pb. Result table: 
परसेंटेज ऑफ टीन इन द शोल्डर अलॉय परसेंटेज ऑफ लेड इन द शोल्डर अलॉय एक्सपेक्टेड अप्रोक्सिमेट परसेंटेज ऑफ लेड इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी परसेंट एंड दैट ऑफ एस एन इज इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी परसेंट सो स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक द वीडियो थैंक यू